Is it good or is it bad? Eh, let's find out. Good! Some of the user-created levels are really fun and or challenging. Bad. Some of the user-created levels are poorly designed or just not entertaining. Good! There's so many freaking amiibo costumes! Finally, my horde of plastic figures has use! Bad! Limiting amiibo costumes to just the original Super Mario Bros. graphic style feels a bit cheap. Sure, 3D modeling every single amiibo character would be a pain in the butt, but this just feels like wasted potential. Good! The level creator is super easy to use and is capable of a lot of things, allowing you to truly create your perfect Mario level. Bad! Giving a Hammer Brother a Fire Flower should turn them into a Fire Brother. I know this is a super minor nitpick, but that feels like a missed opportunity. Good! Woohoo! When you're creating levels, the game sings you the name of whatever you're using. Bad. I wish I could change the music of the stages I create. Good! The ability to add sound effects to your levels adds an amazing amount of creativity to the game. Bad. Custom sound effects will just turn into birds chirping when you upload a level. Hello, Internet! Welcome to Game Theory. Good? There are a bunch of homages to Mario Paint. Bad! Unless you're super into creating levels and playing custom levels, you'll quickly run out of things to do. Good! The game is weird in all the right ways. Bad! I get that you're given pieces to use in creator mode over the course of 9 days so the players won't feel overwhelmed, but unless you want to adjust the game's clock or actually wait, it's a major drag for players that are ready to play with all the toys. Is it good or is it bad? You decide. Let me know in the comments below or tweet me your thoughts at TrailerDrake.